It's an exciting time of year for hunters across our state and right here in West Alabama. Gun season for white-tailed deer opens this weekend. And here to talk to us a little bit about hunting safety is Freddie Ingram from the Department of Conservation. Freddie, thanks a lot for being with us today, buddy. It's nice to be here. Good to be here. Uh, all right, well, let's go ahead and, and, and let's start out just get right to it. Hunting season, it's uh, Friday or Saturday. Which day does it open? Uh, rough season actually starts Saturday, the 19th. Saturday, the 19th. And that's when all the hunters will be heading out to the woods. It'll be mass devastation. There you go. And you guys are going to be real busy. What are you going to be looking for? Oh, really, we'll be checking to make sure everybody has a hunter armed. You know, both seasons have been in quite a while, so people's got to get back in the role of hunting with the gun and make sure they've got their, their uh, buck harvest record on them, make sure they've got their hunting license. Everything that they need to have with them, they need to make sure they do a checkpoint, make sure they check everything before they get in the woods, make sure they've got their permits to be on the property. Um, hunter safety orange is going to be a big issue. Really? Do you guys normally have a problem with that the first weekend? People going on, because that just seems like a no-brainer to me. But yeah. Well, you know, some people get in the swing of bow hunting, and it's not required during bow season uh, to wear a hunter arm. So you get in the swing of bow hunting without it, and then you pick up that rifle and walk into the woods, and you forget your orange hat or your orange vest. So it's, it's a time, it's a thing that you really need when you're out there hunting. you got to have that hunter safety orange so that you don't get accidentally shot or mistaken for an animal. We were talking a little bit during the break. Whenever we talk about hunter safety, most people think about guns and the very, you know, uh, the very basic things like don't point it at somebody else and pull the trigger, know what you're shooting at, that sort of stuff. But in many cases, guns aren't your worst enemy out there. It can be the deer stand. Talk to me about that. Exactly. It's uh, our biggest problem has been tree stand falls. Really? You know, tree stand accidents. Last year was one of the, the worst years we had in the state of Alabama. We had 15 accidents that resulted in five fatalities. Wow. And uh, every tree stand that's manufactured now that you buy comes with a safety harness. Mm -hmm. You know, my, myself and some of the other people I hunt with, we're a little old school. Right. You know, we don't want to do the things like when they passed the seatbelt law and they right. passed everything else. It's hard to get in the routine. But if you will use your safety harness, I mean, you'll be back, you'll be back home. You'll be able to spend the rest of your life with your family. Another thing that I'd like to uh, suggest for people to do and we're having people that's going out hunting and they're not telling people where they're going. Uh, you know, in today's day and age with cell phones, that's all great because you can call when you need help. Right. But I need to know a little bit about where you're at whenever me or some of my fellow officers come out looking for you. If you're broke down, if you fall out of a tree, you're unconscious. Right. You know, we'd like for you to at least tell somebody the general area you're going to be in so we can find you. That's, that's sort of the recipe for disaster there. Isn't it? You go yeah. out, nobody knows where you're at, and, and, and you accidentally your gun goes off and you're injured or, or you fall out of your deer stand and, and heaven forbid maybe you've hurt your legs, your back, and you can't get up and walk out of there. Exactly. And you know if you fall in the, and the cell phone falls far enough away from you that you can't call anybody, there you, are. you know if, if mama or sister or somebody knows where the hunting club is, that's fine, but if it's 600 acres on the hunting club, it takes me a while to cover 600 acres. All right. So. Noted. Definitely noted. Freddie, thanks much for being with us today, buddy. We appreciate it. All righty. You can find out more about safety, gun season, and the laws that protect the wildlife and wilderness of our state online at OutdoorAlabama.com.